Getting back to like the book, you've got an interesting story. Like, why did you decide to write this? Back in 2019, I was working as a pen test consultant with Moss Adams, and I was mainly yep. doing web application pen tests and network pen tests. There, they were like, oh, you're the you're the web app pen test guy. So we're getting a lot of these <laughs> requests in for API pen tests. The first thing I did is I went on Amazon, typed in hacking APIs. There were no books available. My mind was blown. Like the very first time in my career when I've looked up a a topic that's very important and there were there were no resources. Around that same time, December 2019, which is when I started writing it, the OWASP API Security Top 10 was uh, just released. I had that as a starting point. I found whatever vulnerable machines that I could find that were API related. And then I started taking notes and I, I got to about 150 pages of notes when I thought it through and decided, you know what, this is halfway to being a book. So why not reach out to a couple publishers and, and see what they think. That's how you got hold of No Starch and set this up, right? Yeah. Originally, I had sent the book uh, idea over to Wiley and No Starch. Both were interested, but it was in a very different way. Bill Pollack, president over there at yeah. No Starch, had started emailing me question after question after question for, for about three weeks. It was a great exercise to make sure, you know, is this going to be a topic that lasts or is this going to be obsolete as soon as it's printed? I definitely wanted to write it in a way that it would last. Uh, and I, I think it's done that, but uh, I had to convince him first of all. Meanwhile, over at Wiley, it more or less sat on someone's desk for a few weeks and then they're like, hey, this is a good idea. Here's a here's an offer. And so after all the questions with no starts, I said, hey, Wiley, Wiley sent an offer over. So do we want to <laughs> keep going through this exercise or do we want to like move forward with it? And uh, one of the things I actually did is I took my whole library. I laid it out on my floor and I counted the number of Wiley books and number of no starch books. And it was like 10 Wiley to 11 no starch. That wasn't the ultimate deciding factor, but seeing them laid out and how much I had enjoyed some of the other no starch books drew me into uh, ultimately deciding to go with the no starch team, which one of the best decisions I've ever made.